Hi guys, um, so we're back again. So look, um, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do our warm up again. So look, everything we're gonna do, just take your time, take your, there's, there's no rush, there's no mad panic with it, okay? So again, what we want, we just want to build our heart rate up, so we just want to get going. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do some jumping jacks, or star jumps as they're called. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for um, 20 in total. So what we're gonna do, we put our two hands down by our hips, two legs together, all we do, Oops, no, okay? So that's the motion we want to be going all the time. What I'm going to get you to do, I'm going to get you to go for 20 of them, okay? So make sure every time that you're getting them hands up nice and high. So again, we're going to start in five. So are you ready? In three, two, one, go. Let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Take a break. Well done. Well done. So, building the heart rate up all the time. Is that okay? So, well done. So, what we're going to do now, guys, we're just going to go for a quick feet again, like we did yesterday. And the idea of this is what we're going to do, we're going to just go try and get them up quick as we can. So, we're standing tall, so we're not haunched over, okay? So, we never really want to be haunched over. But, um, so we just want to practice can we stand up nice and straight chest out okay that's what we want to do chest out okay so what we're going to do we're going to go for two rounds again so we're going to go 10 seconds on 10 seconds off 10 seconds off just lightly on our toes last round we go strong and hard swap the hands top the leg and we're going so ready in three two one go quick as you can okay keep it going two one, okay, take a break on your toes. Well done. So just on your toes, as quick as you can. Every time you do it, pound, get them going, okay? Get them going all the time. Don't worry about it. So what's gonna happen, guys? We're gonna go again. In three, two, one, go. Pop, sit, and get them up, okay? Up, 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 up. Make sure you're getting them up. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. So, you're going to be puffed after it. I'm puffed. Don't worry about it. It's a challenge. So if you have your drink, have a quick little drink. So, well done so far. Now, like we did the other day with our socks or our bean bags, whatever we have, hopefully we might have two balls now. We're going to try and do something similar today, just with the balls. So what we need to do, just work with our eyes and our hands. We're going to cool down now a small bit, okay? So, what I want, just stay back you go. You're just going to throw them up nice and light and low. No big throws, change it up, okay? Change it up all the time. Ooh. So, it's very hard trying to work with our eyes and hands at the same time. Some people find it very hard. I find it very hard, so don't worry. So what we want, if you find it hard, just one hand, just throw them up like that. Okay, so just change it up, go a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. Oh, I didn't throw one, so up. Oh, Ooh, just about. Ooh. So. Just, just a bit of juggling, see can you do it. So if you can, excellent, well done. If you can't guys, just go one ball, one hand, swap over, just keep running it. And then it'll come a bit easier to us. So if we're able to go off the wall, go off the wall. So one hand off the wall, that'll be much easier for us. But the boys will work with all that through with you. So look, well done so far. So what I want, I want you to do three rounds of them, okay? And I wanna see how many catches you can do. Is that okay? So we're gonna change, we're just gonna use one ball now a second. What I want, we did it with the football the first day. We have to throw it up, clap our hands. Throw it up, clap again. So every time you're building your claps up. So again, if you're outside, use your space outside. If you're inside, just watch out for anything that might be there. But all you want to do, you wanna see, can you beat your score a second time? So again, to make it a bit harder on your toes. One, that's two, that's two, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Okay, make sure that you're getting them claps in. I don't think I got the claps in, I was just counting. So make sure you're doing it, okay? Don't worry about it. Keep your eye on it. It's just to be a bit easier. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bounce it as well this time, okay? So we're just gonna change up small. So can we bounce it? It's gonna come to a certain highest point. Can we catch it? But we have to get a clap in as well. So watch, okay? So we have to bounce it. One, okay? So two, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I think I only counted three, so we're gonna do four this time. So one, two, three, four. I did it, it went off camera, but I counted, I caught it just before. So the ball will react. It might, it mightn't bounce up all the time. It might go off depending on the surface we have. 
but you just work with whatever you have. Is that okay? So, well done. So, what's going to happen now, guys? We're just going to get our bigger football and we're going to work with that. So, our bigger football, all we're going to do, okay, we're just going to go back a bit small bit further. So, it's a simple little thing, okay, just to get us going. We're going to throw the ball from one hand to the other hand on our toes. We're just building it up. So, it's up over our heads, okay. Now, back down, we bounce it. We have to catch it. So, we have to bounce it. We have to catch it. So, we just want to explode around. We're in the hand. So, we're getting it there. So, opposite feet. So, it's opposite feet. So, what we need to do, we need to bounce, get around, catch the ball, bring it into the chest. So, you're on your toes. You're just reacting to it. So bounce, react to it. So, every time we bounce the ball, we have to turn, we have to react. So, it could happen in a game. When it's coming, it's bounced. It's gone over our heads, we have to turn, we have to react to it. That's what we're looking for here as well. Okay, so well done so far. So, we're going to use the ball again. All we're going to use, guys, we're going to go with um, high catches, okay? But we want to bring in a bit of a jump. So what we're going to do, just a bit farther out, okay? So what we're going to do with this, very simple. Just little throws, catch, okay? Little throws, catch, little throws. Catch, but this time now I want to put a leg up in front, protect you. So up, oh, I think I got it. Make sure you don't throw it behind your head, it'll go backwards. So just put it up, knee, okay? Put it up, knee. So that's all we want to do. Put it up, protect it with that knee, get it up. So you see the way the knee goes up, guys? Protect it, two hands over our head. That's what we want. So, what I want, I want you to do 10 of those. But I want you to do 10 with your right knee going up. I want you to do 10 with your left knee going up. Because it's very important that we learn how to use our body and that we can spring off both feet and we can spring off our feet singly. So, well done so far. So, we're nearly there now. I nearly time to get rid of you and get you into the next group because the warm up isn't much fun, but it's very important. So, the last thing what I'm gonna get you to do, guys, I'm gonna get you to go for um, uh, opposite hand to opposite knee. So our elbow to opposite hand, opposite knee. So I'm getting tired now, you can see. So what I want, I want to up, okay? I'm gonna drive the feet up. So just working single legs, get them up, okay? That's the one, so I want you to do five in each. So when you have five in each done, I think this is my last set. Take a break, okay? It is, it is going to be tough, but I want you to drive that knee up to the elbow and I want you to hit it. So every time you're going, guys, it's a powerful knee up, hits that elbow, okay? So you're gonna go two rounds of those and you're gonna be done. So guys, look, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for listening to me and I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Thanks, Paddy. Uh, welcome everyone to the third day of our Easter camp. Hope you're practicing every day. Sun is out, so no excuse for not practicing. So. All warmed up well there with party, so we're ready to go. We'll just again go over what we did in the last two days. Very quickly, guys, just have a look again. And these are the skills we would like to see you practicing at home, especially the kicking every day, guys, left and right. So we started off with the punt kick, left leg and right leg. Okay, then we done the hand pass, left hand, again the feet, change the feet. And right hand okay then we went into the, the hand pass across the chest okay so if you're running one way you're passing the ball to a player coming to you at an angle okay so here we go and you turn around don't worry and you go the other way show them this way again then across the chest that's it and the last one was the hook kick and every time we hook every time we got a kick we turn around okay kick and turn. Shoulder again, guys, to the target, which is the wall today. All right? So, into that, then yesterday, we brought the dummy solo. So, just a quick look there now at the dummy solo. Left leg, right leg. Okay? And the head is up, so that you can see if there's a pass on or someone coming to tackle you. Okay? So, we incorporated that then into the kicking. So, we've done a dummy solo. And we hook kick the ball. So then just do a couple of them there now. Dummy solo, turn, kick with the opposite leg. Dummy solo, turn, kick with the opposite leg. Okay, good. 
Then we brought that in. Show me a hand, pat, a hop. Okay, and the leg is out again, guys. To keep away the opposition. Turning and kicking with the other leg. Okay. Kick, turn, hop, and we go. Okay, very good. So, we're nearly bringing the kicking into everything there, which is, is in, in the game, you're going to be kicking the ball a lot. Today, you now, we're going to be catching. So, we're going to concentrate on our catching, but again, we'll be hand passing the ball and we'll be kicking the ball. Okay? And at the end, we're bringing in the smart little challenge tee that we'll talk about later. So, today we're going to do the high catch, the chest catch, and the low catch. Okay? So the first one now we're going to do is the high catch. So what we're going to do is stand back whatever distance you have, okay? And you're going to hand pass the ball instead of kicking it because to be more accurate, we're concentrating on the fielding. You're going to hand pass the ball off the wall, get up off the ground, catch, turn, go around one of your markers. So have two markers out again. Anything at all, a jumper, anything at all that will do is a marker. Just put them out into whatever area I have. Left or right. Left and right, sorry there. So put them out now first and we'll be ready to go. Come back a good distance from the wall. So we'll just wait for you there now to put out your two markers. So again, when you pass it up off the wall, up field, go around. Left and right, go set every second go. And start again. Okay, are we ready? For 30 seconds, again, concentrate on your fielding here now, guys. Okay, Dad, let's go. Up, turn, turn away all the time. The side you're going to turn, to, that's the way you're going to turn. Get up, get up, turn, turn away then, turn the opposite way, don't turn into the player. Up, turn, okay. This is the hard one, turning on the left hand side when you're not used to it. Off we go. Up, turn, that's better now. Nearly there, a couple more. Good stuff. Okay, well done. So, again as we are saying during the week guys, you 30 seconds, if you're older maybe do it for a minute, and all the time we're building up our fitness as well in this. Do it three times, have a break in between. Today we're only doing one, okay? The next one to that, we're just adding to it now, is, <coughs> excuse me, up, field, turn, do a half for a solo, and you're doing the hook kick, okay? And then you turn around, and you do it the opposite way. So it is up, field, come around your marker, and do the hook kick. Set up again then for the next high feet. Okay, wait there a second up. Okay, everyone ready? And we go. Get up, round your marker, who kicked the ball? Get, set up again then, get up, that's it, turn. So everything we do guys is match situation. That's it. Turn. Up. Get up. Turn. Round your marker. And hook kick. Set up again then. Take your time. Get up now. Up. This is tough going guys. Push it out now today. Very good. Okay. Hold it up. Hold it up. Okay. Good stuff there now. Now. Next thing we're doing. Take a breather there now, get a drink. Okay? That's tough going now, guys. A lot of work in that. You're using all the muscles now. You're getting up in the air, coming down, you're kicking, plenty of movement. Okay. The next one now, guys, is the lower one. Lower catch. So we're going to step back again, whatever space you have in the air. Move your marker into the center. Okay? You're going to hand pass the ball against the wall. Reach down and catch it. Turn. Go back and set up again and do it again. Just running into it and catch it. Okay? Just take it, set up again there now. Are we ready? 
and we go. We just turn and come back up. Run through the ball. Okay? Take your time then and then bust through it. Okay? Set up slowly, lads. Set, take your time. And then bust through the ball. That's it. Good. Again, be, hot, be punching the ball left and right to use all your time for practicing on the weaker side. Non-dominant hand. 10 seconds to go. Good. We're getting a good workout now today. Yeah. Very good. Good stuff. Okay. Take a breather. Well done. Okay. Now, one catch to go. Okay. This is the chest catch now. All right, and in this now, we're going to punch it off the middle of the wall, out your chest height, and you're running in, and you're catching it in here. Okay, the same principle again, the minute you catch it, you're turning. Okay, right, take a breather now, because this is tough going today. Just give you a chance there now. Okay, we set up again now. Chest catch now, guys, in here and protecting the ball all the time. Ready for 30 seconds. Off we go. That's it. Turn the minute you catch the ball. Very good. Good. That's very good, lads. This is hard work now today. We have to step it up. Since the first day, second day, now the third day is getting faster. 15 seconds to go. Very good. Okay, good. Take a breather there again now. Now, in a game, the minute you catch the ball at any time, you have to make a decision. So the decision we have to make today is to hand pass it straight away. That's speed, speed at all. So the faster you can do that. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to step back, okay? And we're gonna punch the ball against the wall, catch it, and hand pass it with our other hand, okay? All right? So, I just, <clears throat> no problem there, one second there now, okay? All right, so, we're setting up now again. Right, punch the ball up high against the wall, catch, and hand pass with the other hand. Okay, so it's high catch with the right hand. If your right hand is your dominant hand, punch with that one. When you catch it high, drop it down, hand pass with the left, left hand if that's your non dominant hand. Okay, right there, up and go, up, left hand. That's good. Now we're working hard here now. Up. Good stuff. Up. Left hand. That's it. Keep moving. Keep moving all the time, guys. Up. Left hand. That's it. Ten seconds to go. Up. Left hand. That's it. One more. Okay. Take a breather. Well done. Get a drink there now again. Okay, take a drink. Now everything we do again today, guys, I'll keep reminding you, you do it three times. Okay, so that's a 30 minute workout. If you do it right and do it at speed, guys, concentrate on the skill I know, but you, you build up your fitness as well and you stay fit till we get back on the pitch. Okay, now, last one to do, guys. Okay, I just want a good workout again today now. All right, is that we're gonna just do the punt kick again, all right? We're gonna go for 30 seconds off the wall and we're gonna try to get it back into your chest now. You're practicing all the week, so we're gonna go for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna finish up with uh, a novelty one in the end. I want you practicing at home. Okay, ready for 30 second punt kick. Ready, really push it out here now, guys. Go. That's it, left and right. Good. 
Head up all the time, guys. Ten seconds to go. Very good. That's very good. No, very good, guys. No, what we did today, a high catch, but every time we cut the ball, we're, we're turning. Okay, we're moving. Okay, the next time we cut the ball high, we hand pass it off the wall. Everything is left and right. Okay, I want you practicing them bad. Tomorrow, last day, we're going to do a challenge. So we're going to be doing the punt kick, the hook kick, okay, which is this one. Right and left hand passing, and how many we can do in 30 seconds. So we'll give you the challenge. Now, one last one we're going to show you here, and I want you practicing this at home this evening and putting up pictures of yourselves doing it. Okay? It's the chip up. Okay? You don't see it much in the game, but it's a great skill. And if you're interested, lads, practice this at home now. I want you to put up a, a, a clip of yourselves this evening, guys doing this, practicing this, with the thumbs up saying you're practicing the chip up. And then we know that you're practicing at home. And if you're doing that, tag Rebelog G8 guys on Twitter there, and we, we'll put you up, okay? Well done. So let's have a look at this. We're over here, in a bit of grass. So, I'm gonna try first guys, I could fall over. And if I do, don't laugh at me, okay? It's a skill that you see a lot of inter-county lads doing it when they have space. You're not going to do this when there's a lot of players around you. But when there's a chance, you step in and you chip it up. Okay? No. So, we'll have Dan having you go off it. Okay? With one ball. Yeah, Off you go, Dan. That's it. Turn around to the other side. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a challenge, lads. For a couple of weeks time we come back to you, two balls going. So, we'll have Dan doing it for one goal. This could go wrong, but don't worry. This is all about practicing. Okay? So we're going to do two footballs going. So you drop them down again Dan afterwards. Okay? Off we go. Okay? Alright? Now you're going to pick them up this time now and hold on to them. Okay? Here we go. Good. Drop them down again. Some other different bits, so I give them to you now. So if you have someone with you at home, sister or brother, you put in the player thinking. So then pick it up and hold on to it. Right, go. That's it. Here we go. That's it. Give it to me again. Last time. Go. Oh, that's all right. Come in again. Here we go. Good stuff. Okay. So I want you practicing that at home, guys. Just for a bit of fun as well. Tag yourself, put it up on Twitter there or Facebook or whatever you're into, okay? And we'll see you all again tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Get out there and practice. Great stuff so far this week, lads. Well done. Thanks very much. Hi, guys. Paddy O'Brien here again. Today, we're going to work on what we call a target game. So this target game is simple at the beginning, but it gets very hard. So the first target we have is the green bin. So I'll be showing you videos of of Carmo hitting the green bin. We move on from the green bin to make it a little bit harder by having the jersey, preferably a jersey of an opposition team, someone that you'd like to be hitting the ball off of. Then we have the two water bottles, and we move from the two water bottles to the water bottle challenge, the single water bottle. Very difficult thing to hit, and it's going to take a bit of time, but it's all about practice. The most important thing about all these skills is that when you're doing them, let's pretend you're playing a match. So have the movement, get your feet and your hands right on the hurley. So in all good coaching sessions, what we're looking for is your head, your hands and your feet. What way are you using them? Get those right and we should be okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to start another skills test for you today. This one is a target. Okay, so we're going to start nice and easy. The first one is trying to strike the bin. So Carmack now is going to strike. You take the ball in his hand and strike it and try to hit the bin. Let's go. Who's going to try and hit the jersey on the bin? Let's go. Yes. He's going to try and hit the two water bottles which are on top of the bin. Yes. He claims to hit it. It doesn't seem to fall. No. We'll try again.
we're going to do that target challenge I was talking about. So Cormac is going to start. Okay, so the first challenge is nice and simple with the bin. Okay, so Cormac is going to go back as far as you can. You might not have enough room. Look, whatever it is, just go back a small bit. As far as you can go and have a go. Try and hit the bin. So Cormac is going to go. Okay. So the bin is the easiest one. All right. So have a go. See how you get on there. See if you can hit the bin. Go on. Well done. Keep trying it. Keep trying it. Well done, boys. Well done, girls. Well done. Keep at it. That's it. Good stuff. Good stuff. So from the bin, okay, we then make it a slight bit harder because I get a jersey. And what do I do with the jersey? I put the jersey on top of the bin. Okay? So just like so. I'm hanging off the bin. So now Carmuck must try and hit the jersey on the bin. This is a little bit harder. Let's go, Carmuck. Oh, he missed. Let's try again. Keep trying it, Carmuck. Come on, Chris. Yes, Carmuck has done it. Carmuck did it. How are you getting on? Go no, on, keep trying. It's a little bit harder. Smaller target, so a little bit harder. Let's look. Keep trying. Keep practicing. You will get there. You enjoying it? Yeah, keep going. Go on, I'll give you another couple of seconds for those of you that might be struggling. Go on, keep going at it. Because from here now, we're going to get harder. Well done, lads. Well done. Are we doing? Are we all right? Have we all got it? Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. If you haven't, don't worry. You've plenty of time to practice. Keep at, keep practicing this thing. When this is over, keep going. You'll get it. I guarantee you, you'll get it before the day is out. So now, I make it a little bit more difficult. Two water bottles. So I now place the two water bottles on top of the bin. So you don't need water bottles. If you don't have water bottles, put anything up there. Just a target. Milk bottles, whatever you have. Just put a target up there so somebody can hit. So now Cormac is going to stay from the same distance and now he's going to try and hit the two water bottles. Let's go, Cormac. Oh, he missed. Okay, missed again. Oh, dang. Okay. So keep going, Yee. How are you getting on? Keep practicing. Keep trying. Keep trying. You'll get there, lads. It takes it a little bit more difficult. If some of you are finding it too easy, go back a bit. Make the distance longer. If it's very hard, come a little bit closer. Okay? So whatever you think yourselves. If it's a little bit too easy for you, go back a small bit further. If it's not, you're finding it very, very hard, get a little bit closer. So now, so that was the two. Are we still after getting them, lads? Well done. Well done, everybody. That's good stuff. So now, we're coming down to the water bottle challenge. Okay? I said this a couple of weeks back for players that played with Cock on the 20s last year. As some of you might have seen Shane O'Regan's video on Twitter, on the GA website, and on Twitter. Keep an eye out for that. So now, it's just the one water bottle. Very difficult, lads. Very difficult task. I'm going to take away one and I leave one. Now, Cormac and G, are you ready? Try and hit the one water bottle now. Let's go, Cormac. Oh, Do I? This is difficult. Oh, he finally got it. See, it is difficult, boys. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Again, one water bottle. Very, very difficult challenge to try and hit. Have a bit of fun with it, lads. Keep practicing it. Keep practicing. Have we go. Are you still doing it there at home? Come on, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Yeah. And try again. And try again. Well done, lads. So again, as I said to you earlier, if it's too easy, go back farther. Okay? Go back the distance. You don't have the room. You don't have the room. Okay? This is all about trying to hit a target. Okay? It's about improving your accuracy. But the most important thing is, once you have it done with your good hand, what do you do now? You move on to your bad hand. All right? So you're weak or side. Start again. Start from the bin and move up through the hole out of them again. So Carmack now is going to show you from the weaker side. Let's go, Carmo. Try and just hit the water bottle. There we go. Water bottle. Try and hit the weak side. Lucky. Unlucky. So, as you can see, it's harder. Okay? The weaker side is harder. Keep practicing it, boys. Keep going. You have all day to do it. You have all day. You will get it before the day is out. 
Well done, lads. That's it for today. Okay. Thank you to everybody again. Thanks to James and Party for earlier on. Okay. Thanks to Carmock and for Dan for helping out. And the most important thing, lads, right, is all these skills that we show you, it's all about practice. Okay. But it's all about a bit of fun. Have a bit of fun with them. Try different things. Go online. Look at the, the various videos. Right. Ask your mother and father to go on Twitter to look for you to see Shane O'Regan doing it. See Tommy O'Connell hitting it. See Rob Downey, the Cox Senior Holder, doing it. Watch these lads doing it. See different challenges and just have a bit of fun with it, lads. See you all tomorrow. Bye. So there are the targets, lads. The bin, the jersey, the water bottles, and the main one, the water bottle, water bottle challenge. You probably have seen on the internet over the last couple of last week, probably there was senior players and intercounty players practicing trying to get that water bottle challenge. It is difficult, but lads. It's a well, we are well capable of it, but it's going to take a bit of practice. So just work on it, work on it, work on it. See if you see what you can achieve. Best of luck with that, lads. All right, you might be able to do it in the next half an hour, but if you keep working on it, you will get it before the day is out. I promise you that. Okay.